Hi, welcome to a farming simulator tutorial. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to edit implements on farming simulator because you know when you're harvesting a field and you're only going six miles an hour and you got a huge field so <laughs> why spend hours doing a whole field when you can do it in 30 minutes so um, before we start thanks for watching if you like it uh, if you find this tutorial helpful hit that subscribe button it would uh, really help me out so um, first thing you're gonna need to do right off the right off the bat is download this program called notepad plus plus it's gonna let you it's a, it's a specific program it's like a notepad but it's got a whole different features in it and once you do that you could uh, edit these files so what you're gonna do is is you can go in here you're gonna have to go to your uh, Windows C or your main projectory um, to get to the file for the sim uh, farming simulator what you're going to do is program files you're going to go down here to steam steam apps common farming simulator and you're going to click on data that's all you have to do so click on data and go down here to vehicles and this gives you the whole list of all the in-game in vehicles that farming simulator has so if say if you got a John Deere combine harvester and you got the uh, what is it the 45 FD uh, header what you need to do is you go down here John Deere let's go up here let's see let's see let's see John Deere John Deere okay so you find John Deere then you see the headers and the header that I use a lot is the 645 FD so what you can do is once you find out what header you're looking for just go into the directory and find your header and what you need to do is double click it and it's going to bring you up a little page here I don't mess with none of this stuff here and most of these files I don't touch the ID I don't touch ID shapes right here is what your main file you need to use so what I do is once you download the notepad plus plus I right click and it's, then it says right here edit with notepad plus plus it's gonna bring up this little program here and it's gonna give you the, the whole information about this implement or you can uh, you can rename it like for instance modded excuse me modded so uh, you can change the price I don't like paying nothing so make that zero um, nothing really down here you need to worry about base width you can change the width of it but it, I mean it's, it's just gonna cause a bunch of crashes and that's what I don't really mess with now speed limit right here is the one you want to change so Farming similar works in kilometers. So if you're looking for like I don't know say working speed of forty miles an hour, you know, you need to bump it up to at least a hundred. So I think the um the implements certain different implements have certain certain different working speeds. So if you're not really good at judging kilometers like me I mean, into miles per hour which I you know I don't know how to do what I do is I just go here and sw sw uh, switch this to a hundred and uh, what I do is after that that's all you have to worry about because you know you don't have to change the field type or anything just the working speed or speed limit basically and just go up here and click on save and so it automatically saves so there is no, uh, you don't have to drag the file out. You don't have to do anything. So once you get here, right click, edit Notepad plus plus, and there you go, 100, 100 miles an hour. Um, far as let's see, uh, combine. Okay, so 
you want to change the you know the horsepower of the combine or you want to change top speed um, you can do that um, if you want to change how many uh, how much grain you can hold you can change so since I've already got this up here once you have Notepad++ plus plus, it's going to save all the files right up here that you have already um, we call it uh, implemented um, so since it's already here I'm going to click on the S790 that is the John Deere Combine S790 so if you want to change the horsepower you go down here the motor configuration you also can go up here to search word you can you can find type in motor configuration and it should bring it right up so uh, normally I just scroll down but uh so now you got the you got the horsepower I put 10,000 because it really it don't make a difference as far as speed wise because right now since I'm using that header that I just edited I ain't got to worry about making my combine faster because it's going to work the combine's going to go as fast as the the header's going to go so I just put that for 10,000 um you go down it's like a bunch of different stuff I don't I wouldn't mess with all this stuff um see fill unit okay here we go so what you want to come down here next is the fill unit and you can see the capacity I set it to a hundred thousand and uh when you first open this program on this combine it's not going to have this update mass false so once you get to this fill unit and you type in your desired amount that you want to combine to hold what you do is for I want to I set an example this is what it's going to look like right here when you first open it up so when you start adding more liters to the harvester basically it's going to weigh weigh the combine way down where you can't move it at all so by doing this you know you space it and then you put update mass okay equals this little symbol here I don't I'm not familiar with that um, with it, what it's called uh, then type in false the other symbol again and space so what that is telling the game basically hundred thousand liters is nothing basically it's what you're adding you're just telling the heart the harvester that hundred thousand don't weigh nothing so what you do is you go back up here and save but since I already you know I'm gonna click on save for just for the heck of it all right so after you get that done so you're tired you know hundred thousand liters you know you go to empty into a bin or a trailer you know you're gonna be sitting for a <laughs> you know, good while so what I find helpful is editing editing the discharge when you you know pull the pipe out and you start unloading what you want to do is you want to go over to the discharge it's down through here okay all right this it's called discharge node pipe raycast node whatever you want to call it um, I got it set to 8,000 uh, so 8,000 some per liter so I mean it, it empties pretty fast but um, I'm gonna change it uh, 10,000 that's all you gotta do is change that and if you want to change the pipe coming out um, I believe it is right here speed scale fold pipe okay that's the fold okay right here I got the two I'm gonna set it to three you know speed scale I'm gonna set it to two that's when you're folding the harvester up um, other than that that's all you really need to worry about as far as changing the you know the grain leaders and stuff so I'm just gonna click save um, now this works with also trailers so you know say you 
like you just edited your harvester to hold a hundred thousand liters of grain okay well you got a trailer that only holds what sixty thousand liters but you don't want to make multiple trips so same same situation you find out your uh trailer and in game find out what you use which uh i use the pay setter by wilson's trailer so um we'll, we'll worry about that here in a minute so fuel type Mm-hmm. Sorry, it'd be can't remember what happened to it. Hold on one second here. Yep. Well, okay, we'll get to that here in a minute. But anyways, okay, here's a discharge node. I got it to four thousand. Which I'm gonna up, up it up another grand, you know, so to make it a little bit more faster. So, because I, I, I don't want to be sitting at the grain station and emptying out my grain for, you know, seven or eight minutes when I could be doing something else on the farm. Um, you get to all these. Let's see. Bear with me. This is my first tutorial. I know I'm gonna get roasted on it. I just seen it in here the other day because I just edited this just the other day and it's mind boggling me because I can't, okay, here we go right here. So I need to go to fill unit and with this Wilson trailer, it's got two different fill fillers. Basically, you got two sides of the trailer you can fill in. What you want to do is you want to change both sides. 50,000, 50,000. So one side will hold 50, the other side will hold 50. And then when you go over here, you click on this and you space and you type in update mass equals false on both sides. So basically, you're telling the trailer it's not going to weigh nothing now because you got a hundred thousand grain, and all you do is come up here and you click save. So, um, as far as you know, editing tractors, you know, just motor configurations, um, don't really worry about the tractor because once you like, say you got mowers or something, and you can only mow at fifteen miles per hour, and, and you got a really big field, and you know you want to just wipe it out in 20 minutes you know once you get that implement edited where it can go above the working speed there's no really no sense of editing editing the horsepower on a tractor or a harvester because your your vehicle is going to go as fast as that implement's going to operate so that's the reason why i don't really mess with the motor configurations the horsepower the speed because you know it is don't do nothing for me so but I hope this worked for you. I hope this uh, tutorial was education, education enough. <laughs> Sorry, I got my words mixed up. Um, like I said, this is my first tutorial. I don't really post much to YouTube. Um, I'm mostly on Facebook Live. Um, so this is new to me. Um, now, if you're familiar with this program, you're familiar with uh, editing you know different files and if you have any tips you can give me that I you know that you can give me then feel free you know I'm, I'm open to learning new stuff um, but that's how you basically edit implements and files um, well that's gonna do it for this evening um, I appreciate you guys joining in uh, if you liked it hit that like button subscribe um, it would really help out a lot, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and God bless.